multiply and divide using scientific notation using a calculator. Now, this is the exciting stuff. Now, one thing that I want to say is it really depends on your calculator. I have three different calculators I'm going to show. Um, but most calculators have a button that says EE, -E, and that shows scientific notation. So if you have an EE -E button, it, they're kind of similar. But I want to show you just how three different calculators might work with this. So the first one is a TI-30X-22C. Uh, excuse me, that's an S. It's a Texas Instruments. This is what I use. It comes in multiple colors. Um, pink was literally the only color they had when I was there. All right, so we are looking here at this one, and we are multiplying 2.2 times 10 to the 7th times 7.8 times 10 to the 9th. Now, what I want to show you is that the EE button is right here. So it's yellow. So what you're going to do is you're going to type it, and I'm going to write down what you would type in, okay? So you would type in 2.2 second, that's this button up here, and then x to the negative first, because you need the EE. -E. Since the EE -E is yellow, you would hit second first, and then this button, and it gives you the EE. -E. Okay, so when you type in this, it will give you EE, -E. and then you get, um, doo -doo -doo, what's my exponent? Seven. Okay, so that gives, that when you type that in, that basically says 2.2 times 10 to the seventh. Then you're gonna hit the times button, times, then you do the same thing, 7.8 second x to the negative first, and my exponent is 9. And then you hit equals, right, <coughs> or enter. And that will give you an answer of 1.716 times 10, I can't read my handwriting, 17th. Okay. And this calculator is nice that it gives you the answer in scientific notation. Not all calculators do, but if you have the TI-30X2S, it does give you the answer in scientific notation. Okay, And one thing that I want to say about using calculators, you know when you multiply with the same base, you add the exponents. 7 plus 9 is 16. So I know my answer should be somewhere in the realm of 16. It could be one higher. It could be one lower, depending on what the numbers are in front, right? I mean, depending on what we're doing. So if you would have gotten an exponent of like 176, you would know that you're wrong, right? So make sure that you're using your common sense to say, okay, my exponent here is 17. That makes sense. It could be one higher because... 2 times 7 is 14, that's above 10, right? Use your common sense just to make sure your answer seems right. Don't automatically trust your calculator because if you hit a wrong button, which happens, right? We all make mistakes. Make sure you double check yourself. All right, now we're going to divide using, this is a TI, um, this is an 83 plus, uh, which works very similar um, to a TI-84, um, I don't know if you're allowed to use these in your course, but if you are, this is very similar to the TI-30X, actually. Okay, so we are dividing. Once again, let's locate, um, let's locate our EE -E button. It's right here. It's also yellow, so we're going to need the second and then the comma button, okay? All right, so same idea. We're going to take 3.4, and then we're going to type in second... And then we're going to hit the comma because that gives us the EE. -E. And then my exponent is 7. Okay, so that will type in and that will give you 3.4 EE7. That means 3.4 times 10 to the 7th. Then you're going to hit the divide button. Right, because we're dividing by this. And then you would type in 8.2. Again, with the second comma. I don't know why I made that into a semicolon. Boop, there we go. Comma button and then the exponent of 10. One thing some people like to do is put parentheses around these. I don't think it matters, but if it makes you feel better, please do. Um, and then at the end there, we're going to hit the enter button because that's the same as solve or equals or whatever. Now, again, think about dividing with... Um, 
What's the word I'm looking for? Scientific nota notation. We know we subtract our exponents. 7 minus 10 is negative 3. So my exponent should be somewhere in the world of negative 3. And when I type this in, my answer becomes 4.14634. goes on and on and on. And then it says E negative 4. This E is the same as times 10 to the negative fourth, right? This right here is your exponent. Okay, so this would be a 1.146 times 10 to the negative fourth would be your answer. All right, if you, if you feel good about it, go. I have two more examples, but feel free to stop whenever you feel like. Now we have a TI-30XA. This one, um, it's not as nice of a calculator as the other two because of the way it stores numbers. It works fine. It's got all the buttons. I don't have any problems with it. But the other two store numbers a little easier, and they're easier to read. Works the same. Okay, so with this one, you can see clearly the EE -E button. We don't have to hit second on this one. We simply hit EE. -E. So for this, you are going to hit 5.7 EE negative 4. And when you do that, I then hit equals, and it changed that into standard form. Then I hit the times button, and then I go back to my second number, 3.1 EE5. And again, I hit equals. <coughs> when I do that, it gives me the answer of 176.7. So this calculator did not give me my answer in scientific notation. It gave it in standard form. If you need your answer in scientific notation, we would say, okay, move it two places, 1.767 times 10 to the second because I moved my decimal two places. So make sure you're paying attention to how does the answer need to be written and how does your calculator work. You might have a discrepancy and you might have to play a little bit. Either way, right, we might have needed this answer in standard form rounded to the nearest, you know, six decimal places. So you might have to change it. So pay attention and read the directions. Let's do one more just for fun. Um, and using our pink calculator, our TIA30, uh, we're dividing here. So if I would take 4.9 and then again second, oh, my pen is dying here. What is wrong? What is happening? Oh, you guys, my pen is dead. I'm going to have to use my finger. Okay, second and then the EE. So we're going to use second. And then that x to the negative 1, because that gives us the ee, e, and then our exponent of negative 3. Again, if it makes you feel good, you could have started with parentheses around these. It really shouldn't make a difference. I don't think it does. Um, and then you would hit divide by, doo -doo -doo -doo, because this part right here glues these together. Okay, then we're going to hit the division button, and we're dividing by 5.6. Again, second x to the negative 1 to get the EE e and the exponent of 8. Again, base 10, sub, oh, we're dividing, we subtract the exponents, negative 3 minus 8 gives me a negative 11. So my exponent in my answer should be something around that, and I get 8.75 times 10 to the negative 12th. Yep, that makes sense. Whew, that was a long one.